Yeah, and at 1918 here, what you're looking at here is more a um, slapped together version of a Grace uh, Spark Gap conversion tube. It's got some um, tungsten welding rods acting as my spark gap. Uh, underneath this piece of plastic is some graphite with some holes drilled in it. And I've got magnets either side of the graphite. This here is acting as my uh, conversion tube and this magnet wire over here is going off to uh, this Bedini tube here which then feeds up uh, to my lights I've now mounted on the wall, on the ceiling I mean. And on the other side of the lights I have uh, wired in some uh, RG6 quad, uh, quad core uh, which is my ground connection which goes outside. Okay. And this is the uh, low voltage side of the spark gap, and I've got a 2000 volt diode there running into um, Bedini's opto isolator circuit from his uh, FEG book, uh, which goes out to a the positive of a, of a 36 volt battery pack outside, I'll show you that. Okay, so I've got that yellow wire going into this 36 volt battery pack. And here's my uh, RG6 quad uh, core going to my uh, grounding stake which is buried underneath it. Okay, the rest of this circuit is pretty much what I've been working on previously. Uh, you got the Bedini uh, 3055. Uh, you've got the Emotip uh, modified PC fan and again all my cables coax um, and I'm running the circuit at uh, 48 volts uh, and I've also got my sphere my sphere is attached to the top of the uh, ignition coil which is on the roof ok I've got the sphere uh, connected to the ignition coil okay, before I turn it on uh, what I've noticed so far is it's sparking uh, the high voltage electrode here is sparking well, I assume, it's, I assume it's going in that direction to the low voltage anode and it's also jumping to this uh, aluminium heat sink from a PC uh, CPU and here um, that goes up to the lights again so I'll turn it on and you can see what happens to the lights uh, and I've We've got some little magnet wheels here and trying to uh, get some rotation going on here. I haven't, haven't, that's not working with the lights are working. So I'll turn it on and... Okay, so my lights come on. And let's see if we can get closer to the spark gap. And you can see it's sparking to uh, the low voltage and to the uh, heat sink. You can just make those sparks out. Oh, I forgot to mention that the capacitors of um, uh, yeah, the capacitors have got five uh, 400 volt caps in series there to give me 2000 volts. Uh, I think they're rated at about five UF or thereabouts. Uh, so, hang on. Okay, so Ooh, we're not blinking. Uh, so you can see there all the lights coming on from the from the uh, heat sink, and uh, it's sparking in both directions. So whether that's correct or not, I don't know. Uh, I'm just mucking around and seeing what happens. So very interesting results. Uh, so we can. Okay, there's the lights, and there's my battery running the uh, opto isolator circuit. Uh, I think there's a 555 uh, H1D11 or something like that running in there, uh, and a transistor which is powering the switching the low voltage side. Um, so yeah, there you go. Very interesting. Well, 